So today is a Saturday, uh, our last day in West Yellowstone, so we took our chance to just walk around the city, or even, I should say, town, I guess, and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, this kind of wild west, a lot of wild west type buildings, and uh, tons of models. Like literally the whole town is just one big model and uh, yeah I would say like a typical uh, resort town with a lot of cafes uh, shops with some neat souvenirs um, the weather is changing so now it's cloudy not that hot anymore I would say somewhat 20 to 23 Celsius and uh, yeah it's quite nice morning to walk around the town not that many people probably everyone is, yellow, <laughs> is in Yellowstone already but yeah we take our time done our kayaking and yeah we were advised not to take any like valuable things and apparently the, the very last uh, part of our trip we could really flip over we did not but it was very close yeah. so I'm glad I didn't took my phone because who knows So I'm sitting in the car because otherwise it's too windy and you can't re record any any voice. So we are currently on a lake near near Gleb. Yeah, I'll mark that on on Google Maps. So basically, this is a volcanic lake, so it means it was like a hole in the ground, and and then it's filled with the water, and so it has very now nice coastline. Uh, of rocks and it's very steep so you, it goes deep very quickly and uh, so we kayaked here and uh, and swimmed and now we are heading to uh, town or city but or but 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 so we asked at the marina is there no any good place to swim 
and they actually advised us a very private beach on the lake with amazing views and uh, we will continue into those mountains using this road and our destination is town Butte where it's already city I don't know we'll see
Okay, so we we made a short walk around the city center. Unfortunately, it's quite rainy right now, and all our like waterproof uh, clothes deep behind in, in the trunk, so we couldn't really easily get it. So I just should um, film a little bit of the streets and. Well, the basic impression is that the city is like uh, Electrozavod location in Moscow, but the whole city, the whole town. And there is a lot of like authentic uh, buildings, red brick buildings, a lot of them abandoned, maybe waiting for some renovations or investors. There are some new buildings and uh, also very funny small living houses but in overall it's very great town i mean very authentic and uh, you feel irish spirit everywhere okay we have arrived to butte or pate i will call it butte but probably it's pate well anyway we just this is our apartment block this is our window it's a bedroom ah no sorry this is a living room bedroom is here this one and uh, there is also other two windows on the other side. I will shoot from the inside for more details. So we parked here in an alleyway, which is one way. So we would need needed to, you know, go around all this one way. And uh, yeah, the funny thing is about Bute is that it uh, has a lot of old buildings dated from like late uh, 19th century or beginning of. The 20th century, so this typical um, Victorian style buildings, and it also like has like the largest Irish rooted population in the United States. And yeah, we kind of feel Ireland everywhere here, even in our apartment, for instance. Instead of like local coffee, the <laughs> selection of black teas, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, and hope we will be able to explore the city center today and shoot a little bit those beautiful buildings. Entrance. Again, it's super old. And having a nice wallpaper. Well, actually, I have a similar ones in my bedroom. In in my hometown, home city, Moscow, Russia. Our apartment is on the second floor. So this is our apartment in Butte, Butte, Butte. And then also we are entering the corridor. On the right hand side there is a bedroom and on the left hand side there is a living room and the, and the kitchen combined together. Kitchen is great, everything is here, even a bunch of knives which is probably not that typical for rented apartments almost panoramic view on two sides and now bedroom oh, it's a bedroom it has huge really huge I would even say walk-in closet and this will even fit uh, even our luggage will fit in it Sakuyash 
and the um, bus room. Okay, so this is a great apartment. One stay, I guess, one, one even more. Well, the bed is extremely high, it's like half of me, and they probably you need an alpine gear to climb on it. Well, the hosts have prepared some documentation on the apartment, so there is like typical information on check in, check out, and blah blah blah. Some helpful information uh, how to handle like TV and air conditioning, then some points of interest of different activities, and uh, what is more important and interesting the history of this apartment. So, apparently, this building was built in 1916. And uh, it was, I believe, in a hotel at some point, and then they uh, rearranged it into, into a like long-term or permanent apartment. So these are some so old photos, and also they assembled a lot of like old uh, facts related to to this building and apartments, which is quite interesting. So there's some kind of uh, Bill for staying in the hotel or something like that. So there's quite a lot of information I'm just rushing through, but if you read it all carefully, I think it's like an endeavor for the whole evening. Um, some old photos again. Or this is just a print from some web page. Yeah, basically, so we are in the center of this historic landmark district with a lot of historical buildings. We've survived in all the hustles, which is great. Yeah, so very useful and apparently a lot of work to assemble such a book, I would say. Ниже кровая автомата. 